So basically we're going to be sticking this into the charge air cooler. It's gonna fill it with smoke. And then if we have a leak, we're gonna be able to see this amount of smoke. So we've got an updated bolt in here. This has now added the LZ0 to the possible intake manifold issues. Now, basically the LM2 had this issue or concern that's a possibility if there's an air leak. And what you do is you do a smoke test. So we're gonna do a smoke test on this LZ0 engine just to kind of show how that takes place. So basically you can get a P0172, P026D, P2459, or a P2A00. And if you get those codes, you're gonna be led to this bulletin, which is going to ask you to just do a smoke test on it and uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that we've got the printout here of what to do it's pretty straightforward it does call for obviously a gm machine i don't have a gm machine but i've got a little special unit that uh was sent over to me to give a test to this whole system and it's a nice little smoke machine so we'll get into that in just a moment but basically you want to be 2 psi to 5 psi it's a real light pressure smoke test just to kind of see if you have any air leak all right this is the ansel l300 nice little compact unit that we're going to use on the truck to provide the smoke it's going to allow us to meet that threshold of 2 to 5 psi it runs off of basically mineral oil super easy to use i'm going to hook this up uh, but before i do let's just go into the adapters basically if you're going to put smoke into a system you need to put smoke into one end and you need to block off the other end so if you're putting in smoke from a larger hose you use something like this if you're going to block off the other end you can use something like this there's multiple ways to do it but there's adapters that come with this make it super handy but thankfully we just need this basic attachment right here and this is going to give us everything that we need for this test that I'm going to show right now. But let's go ahead and get this hooked up to the truck. All right, powering up is super easy. Red to the positive, black cable to negative on the battery. Now, if you flip the switch to this side, this is going to be just air pressure. And if you flip it to this side, that's going to be your smoke. Now, one thing to note is that it has a five minute run time on there. That's plenty of time to do what we need to do on this. But just note that if you hit the five minute timer, it's going to need some time to cool down. If that starts flashing red, that's how you know. So let's go ahead and hook it up to the truck. First thing we'll need to do is pull off the oil cap right there. It's just righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then there's a 10 millimeter down here. Pull that off. And we're going to pull off this lid. I'm going to drop this or put this cap on. There we go, we'll set this aside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inject some smoke into the charge air cooler, and that's gonna fill the whole intake system with air, including the intake manifold. And now we're gonna have to block off the air filter area. So we're gonna do that with just a plastic bag, just set it over the air filter, and then uh, put the air box lid back on it. That's going to seal that off. So then what we're gonna have is it's sealed off wall here, and then we're gonna inject smoke here and basically the air is not gonna be able to travel. And what we're gonna do, best to go by this one closest to the intake manifold, but that one's gonna be a little difficult to get to. Actually, no, it's not. Let's go ahead, we'll do that one. So that's gonna be better because that's closest to the intake manifold and that's going to fill it with smoke, but it'll smoke the whole system, charger, cooler system, everything. So let's go ahead and get that off. It's our intake air temperature two sensor. We're just gonna remove that sensor and then we'll start up the smoke. Now this is just removed with a 16 millimeter wrench. Be sure not to drop that down. We're gonna pull that out and we're gonna go and look at it to see how much oil is on there, which actually is not much, so that's super nice. Now I'm gonna set this aside so I don't lose it. So I lowered this into place so that way we can see it because it's got a nice little digital display. Now, if you need to get this over to PSI, you just need to push onto that little button right there with a tiny pick. All right, so now that we are set in the air like this, I'm gonna go ahead and click it onto the smoke and we're gonna watch for it to start smoking. It's gonna take about a minute. Didn't even take a minute, took a couple seconds. You can see how much smoke is coming out right there. Now what I'm gonna do is see what kind of setting we're at. Tone it down. So we just want it to be over two and under five. Here we go, that's a nice little stream right there. So basically we're going to be sticking this into the charge air cooler. It's gonna fill it with smoke and then if we have a leak, we're gonna be able to see this amount of smoke. If you have it too high, then it's actually not going to show the leak. It has to be a very slow stream like this coming out of here right now. So let's go ahead and put that in. All right, and there we go. I've got smoke going inside there. We're just gonna run this as long as we can. Like I said, we've got the air boxes blocked off. So that way we've got smoke going, filling into the charge air cooler system here. It's filling into the intake. From there, we're gonna just watch for smoke. Now you need a bright light to help you find any leaks. But I'm just gonna hold this in there for just a little bit. And then we're gonna see uh, if there's any leaks. So like I said, nothing's gonna go past the air filter because we have that bag blocked off there. So, the whole intake system should be 
filling with smoke right now and that's a good thing all right so i've let it run for about four minutes now and i don't want to hit the five minutes where that i get it too hot just in case i need to use it again but right now i'm going to look to see if i find any leaks at all within the intake system and if there's any smoke coming out this will show it for sure so i'm not seeing anything but again i didn't have a problem so it's a good thing that i don't uh, see anything right now now i'm sure you're wondering can you do this on the exhaust system as well yes you can you just need to block the tailpipe and you just need to pick one of the sensors right up here is where i like to pick and uh, just smoke it obviously from this side and then the back side is clogged so smoke will fill the exhaust system. One thing to note is smoke will go away when it goes through the DPF. So if you're gonna test anything on this side, do your smoke test starting here. And then if you see any smoke, then you found your leak. If you don't see anything, then go do the smoke from the backside and then block off this front over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and we're gonna see uh, how much smoke comes out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off right here and we'll see. See how it was full of smoke, so now it's going to come out for a little bit. But basically, if you have a leak, that's what it's going to look like right there. Plug that off and then look around, or your finger, and then you look around. If you see any of that smoke anywhere, you know you've got a leak in that area. But we're looking stout right now, I'm happy to say. No leaks here, so I'm just going to let that smoke fizzle out. Hopefully this was helpful to you to at least understand what a smoke test is. Um, or even open up your eyes that there is a potential issue with these intake manifolds. They do get a little cracked. Definitely check the links down below. You could pick this unit up, or uh, I also have an article on that bulletin that I talked about on here. Till next time, see ya.